Hi everyone, been some time, uh, been extremely busy lately, um, back cutting hair two or three times a week now and finishing my latest collection in Spirit, which is going to be going to gallery in September. If you're new to the YouTube, obviously you've seen a uh, kind of touch on kind of mental topics, life topics, art, etc. So welcome if you're new and if you're watching this now, thank you for keeping subscribed and keeping interested. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of come back to a point where I was relaxed and I wanted to talk. Um, to be honest, I think during lockdown I started this YouTube channel and it was about uh, me venting ideas. It was about me getting my kind of brain out and the things I was thinking at the time out of me and exerting that kind of energy. Something that I was in big deficit to because usually I work and see say 40 to 45, maybe 50 people a week talking, conversating and that influences me as a person, my art. Um, it takes that energy away from me. It allows me to speak about things that I speak about on here. Now when that was taken away, I was in a crazy kind of requirement to just speak and talk and of this really encouraging kind of um, thought to get my kind of ideas out there and drawing similarity, which is still there. So it just takes a little bit longer for me to want to video. So I just want to be quite honest about it. And also now I've got some more art production and I've caught, caught up with that. I feel nicely aligned, such is life. But yeah, today I want to speak about the idea of visualization. I was speaking to my missus Dina on this um, and we talk a lot about kind of in-depth topics and how we see our relationship and generalize kind of going forwards planning and what we can do to improve on each other, um, which I think everyone does. But one thing that I want to video about today is this visualization topic because it came up today that Perhaps some people don't do that. You know, you already know your own mind and part and parcel of my life has been able to visualize my future and I'm a, I'm a strategist and it applies to where I want to go in my art. Um, I've spoke about finding yourself in the past before and it all comes down to, I feel that I make decisions today based on the person I want to be when I'm 40, 45, 50. So it's been a few times uh, in the last couple of months where the topic of age has come up or you imagine being when you're 40, 45, you know, what are you going to be like? And that excites me. I think the, the decisions that I make today, even in, in art and what colours I'm going to use and where I eventually see myself as an artist and what images I want to make, this is all stepping stones. I kind of, for example, if I want to take up a new hobby or a new interest, I my first thought is actually does that 45 year old that I have in my head, that 50 year old, do that? Is that going to fit into his lifestyle? Um, are these things, this style of furniture, this house design, kind of the, these clothing, is it going to be sustainable and is it going to be kept up and is it going to be still apparent and worn when I'm 45, 50? Because ultimately I'm trying to get to that guy. That guy is someone that I feel is, is kind of on the, on the back side of life, has done all the things that they said they were going to do, is a more finished character. Now, getting old just doesn't really scare me. It's all about improving. And one thing I always say is, you know, I speak to people in the chair or people that I meet anywhere, and there's this conception of, you know, you obviously you, you're decaying and you're dying, but we don't have this timeline set to us. So... To get better, you have to get older. I've witnessed that as a matter of fact. Um, I feel like I'm way more kind of full as a person now at this age of 30. I'm more in tune with myself and into my core than I've ever been. So that guy that I imagine is someone that I kind of want to look up to and I want to feed. I just took up golf uh, again because, you know, I rejected that years ago because I just got a bit bored and playing out by it. Um, I played too much, but it's a good game, really good kind of headspace um, earner and the solitude of the course and walking around these nice kind of 
manicured um, fairways and greens really appealed to me actually during lockdown and having that time to escape life and come back in has been really kind of refreshing for me. So even on that decision, I actually asked myself, no, is that something I can still do at that age and will that slot in? And I start to think about, you know, the house that I want to be living in and what that might look like and what kind of lifestyle I'll be living then. And I kind of make decisions today based on that. I just found as I, it's quite an interesting topic to talk about because ultimately it's something that I've not really thought about in depth too much. But I realised today, obviously my missus doesn't think like that. So she was saying maybe that is why you can be so assertive. And I always have direction. It kind of keeps me on this track to where I want to go. And I let everything be informed and decided on that matter of fact. Is it going to benefit me in the future? Am I doing that? for my future self? Is it something that I can progress in? And not only that, it gives me the sensation of patience, time. I'm not impatient as a person, I'm willing to wait. I love the concept of layers. Do this now, and in five years, you'll do it better, and you'll tweak it more, and you'll make it better. And I've, I've done it in everything that I do. You make your first version, then the second version, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And then you can draw from everything then. You're never going to finish yourself in one refined motion or announce yourself as one person that never changes. We're all evolving beings and everything we do evolves. Whilst I'm on the sensation of thought, recently I've actually balanced out my life a little bit more um, by cutting hours, cutting hair, focusing on art, the same, I've always focused on art, but I've given myself a bit more time to produce and I've really seen a change in the way I paint. Um, giving myself that little bit of time in the, in the middle of the week and at the weekend to actually do nothing. I felt I was kind of running on empty before lockdown and my images started to become very static and now they've got this new life in there, which you'll see um, in the images that I'm posting at the moment and in the future become very energetic and that's kind of the energy that's being creative created by me giving myself some rest so if you're in a position where you can do that and change your kind of rotor and your program i'd encourage it it's something that i didn't do for a while and it's been it's been a result of the pandemic and it's been a result of me really studying myself in a zoomed out state um yeah and i feel great for it so don't be scared to just backtrack if anyone's got kind of a business um, and they don't want to get out of it and they feel guilty I couldn't recommend it enough um, but yeah the art's going well um, the shop's going well and I just wanted to spread out some positivity and I'd welcome you to just looking at my latest collection on the website and uh, I'll see you all next time thank you and goodbye